Hi, Devon Wolf, Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. We're going to use sticks to teach us how to play instead of playing with sticks. So the sticks, they can show us how we can better hold our body and play with our body. Mystical drumming is an incorporation of using the mind and the martial arts in drumming. If you look at mysticaldrumming.com, you'll see more information, and there's a great video series that you can purchase to help you to just explode as a drummer. Okay, so showing you some of this here. When our spine is straight, uh, there are energy uh, outlets, uh, nerves, meridians, a lot of subtle energy zones that come out of the spine. So when the spine is straight, when we are correctly um, aligned. It's one of the reasons we see a chiropractor, uh, because they make the spine straight to make the energy come out of our spine better, the flow of the spinal cord, so it goes to organs and wherever in a better way. Um, why people get acupuncture, acupressure, these kind of things uh, as well. Not to keep the spine straight, but to make more energy flow. So we want the spine to be straight so that we have more energy flow as well, it keeps our body uh, able to be more fluid while we play the drums in a loose way. Loose, 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 loose. We want to be loose. When we're getting loose, we want to get even more loose. And when we're loose, more loose. And when we're loosest as possible, more loose. There is never, we never hit a point where I'm as loose as possible. You're, we can get more loose. If you live to be a million years old, you'd still be working and getting looser, okay, so there's no I'm there, okay, there is no there there. Okay, so we take a stick and we, if we planted it directly in the ground and it was straight up in the air, straight, this would be our spine. So we don't want to be leaning forward into the stick or leaning away from the stick. The stick shows us how we should be, not military straight, because now it is tension, right? We want it to be straight, and we want to now also be straight across. Our shoulders should not be leaning, okay? Guys like to lean when they're playing drums, either they're you know, pressing this way or pressing this way, causing tension, or they're pressing either way, like playing an iad, or they're going to do a fill over here, and they're doing this, you know, back, forth, and playing make me dizzy right now, we'll cut it out, okay? All right, so the shoulders should be dropped straight across. So the stick shows us, right, shoulder to shoulder, they're dropped. When my shoulders are dropped, my arms are loose. They're loose. Okay, everything is loose. My, hand is, my hands are totally, totally, totally loose, right? I'm loose, 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 right? Loose, 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 loose. If I raise my arm up at all, once I raise my shoulder up, my everything is now engaged. Once you raise your shoulder up, everything is now engaged. Okay, so you're not loose here anymore. This is actually tense by raising your shoulder. Drop your shoulder, and everything's loose. The elbow. The elbow, if we put a stick in, right here, in between our arm and our uh, chest, there should be no room in here. Not pressed, we can't get a stick in. I'm not talking about pressing in, I'm talking about just dropping your arm. If you're playing like this, your elbow being off of your body is going to cause tension all in here, and you're not loose anymore. It's supposed to, it's all loose, 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 right? It's just loose, loose, loose. That's what you want, looseness. And more, and more, and more, and more into infinity. So this stick goes here and shows us where our arm should be and how our arm should be. So we're straight, we're straight, and we're this way, right? Okay. So far, so good. I highly recommend, by the way, a back to a chair. It uh, helps to keep your body straight where you're not, you know, first of all, you know, it doesn't hurt after playing for a while. And as well, it helps you to keep um, in, a, in a good, good, uh, good proper uh, position. Okay. Invest in a good stool if you have the, the means. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's kind of like the foundation of your whole thing, so uh, you're playing. So just really, you know, these things you may be skimping on, but 
to me, a stool is not, um, it's actually, to me, more important than your kit <laughs> to be really comfortable in your seat because it will totally affect your playing. I happen to live near New York City, so I go to Manhattan, and it's funny, I see these uh, old-time jazz musicians a lot, and you see these old-time drummers, and these guys are like really old, and uh, they have like ratted, ratty tat, you know, sticks and skins, are, like, <laughs> they have like tape all over them, and the cymbals are usually broken, and um, you know, they're like dressed very informally, and their shoes are like worn out, and you know, all this, and they make incredible sound. I mean, just like, you know, mind-boggling, you know, great, groovy sound. And you got these guys with like, you know, drum... I happen to wear these only because of my, uh, I was uh, on my deathbed, came back, and uh, so I have uh, some damage to my body. It's, that's not uh, nearly what it was, it's just some lingering damage, so these help me uh, to uh, play, uh, otherwise I would not be wearing them, so, okay. So that being said, yes, if you need something like this because you're disabled in some way, such as I am, then fine, use it. But other than that, you know, I'm talking about guys like I got drumming gloves and drumming shoes, and I actually saw drumming shoes. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, drumming shoes, really? <laughs> you know, that's fine if you have them. They help you, great, whatever. Um, but um, I don't know. I it's, you know, I don't know about that, drumming shoes. Um, and uh, anyway, I'll get back to this. Okay, so the, the hand the hand should be open okay so i'll use my left hand because my right hand is damaged okay it's all screwed up from my my disease you can read more about that or hear more about that in other videos um the hands um so the hand so we want to teach the stick how to hold the stick so we have a fulcrum okay which is the index finger and thumb sorry my cowbell okay so index and thumb it holds the stick in such a way that this is kind of gross, but it works. Don't actually do this, it's only an analogy. If you drill through, got the Home Depot, got a drill, and through your thumb and index finger, and there was a bolt. Okay, so now you'd have a stick representing a bolt, if I get the balance on here. I'll hold it. Okay, so now you'd have a bolt in here that would be lubricated with ultra good lubrication such as something that moves in a car engine how fast does something move in a car engine you know you have two pieces of metal next to each other but there's like a washer or something that's lubricated the car engine goes you know i don't know how crazy you know rpms whatever it is i'm not a mechanic i'm not mechanically oriented so i don't know but i know it's very fast you're a piece of metal that are moving next to each other very fast it's kind of like this so the though these things are not connected they can move very fast which is like in a car engine be um, very fluid to the point of as being as fast as a car engine, you know, hypothetically. Okay, so we use the stick to show us that the index finger and thumb should be fixed, firm, but completely loose. Right? So firm but loose, two different things? No, same thing. The tips of the fingers go across the stick. The pinky on the stick. Do not let the pinky fly open. The pinky, yes, the bone structure is weak, weaker than the other bones in the other hand, obviously. However, it's connected to all these muscles in the side of the hand. So we want that pinky on the stick, so as we manipulate a stick, which should be done with the fingers, right? We want finger manipulation, okay? We create dynamics. We want the fingertips because when I stick a stick into the hole of my hand, when my fingertips are on the stick, so okay, I hope you can see this. I'm holding the fulcrum, and then I'm putting the tips of my fingers on the stick. The stick is then coming down on a 45 degree angle across the fleshy part of the palm, which is not as covered up by my my, uh, my compression glove. However, that side of that side of the the bottom left of the bottom, I guess bottom left, the bottom of your palm, not the center, because if you did that, the stick would be hitting your wrist, right? Now, obviously, if you're this way, it would be all twisted up. So you go this way, where the stick is hitting that nice fleshy part, there's an opening here now. And at any time, you will stop playing and put your stick in there like that. A lot of guys play, like, they, 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 they clasp down on the stick. 
and they're kind of like flat-handed. Well, it doesn't leave for, this, for a lot of dynamics. When I keep my hand open like this, meaning open with space, I can use my fingers to, to, to flip the stick. Right? I, could, I, could, I, could, I could, uh, flick the stick, right? So we're flicking the stick with our fingers, all four fingers. The stick goes into close to the palm where it's riding in the middle of the fingers. I'm losing the ability by like playing a flute or playing a trumpet or playing a, something like that, right? Some kind of uh, instrument we're using your fingers. It's the same thing here. If the stick goes too far out, my fingertips don't have the ability to touch the stick. So I want the stick to be on the fingertips with that nice loose fulcrum going across the fleshy part of the hand with an opening, right? Try to not crush down on the stick like that because look what's happening, I'm all wrist. Which you can go pretty fast doing this, but you can have a lot more dynamics and much more speed, dynam dynam much more dynamics and speed if you keep your hand open. So if you're in the habit of closing down or you're playing here where the stick is hitting your, hitting here, hitting your wrist, it's not helping you, okay? Okay, so this way, this way, this way, make sure this is loose, make sure this is open, right? Make sure the stick is being held correctly. And six can help us to see how we drum, okay? It's well breathing. Make sure you're breathing, put your stick on your chest and your stick on your stomach. Breathe into the stick on your stomach so your body stays relaxed, okay? So use your sticks to teach you how to play. It's a great tool. There's more on mysticaldrumming.com. And the drum system you can buy at mysticaldrumming.com, which shows you how to combine the ancient wisdom of martial arts with um, the infinite capacity of the mind, incorporating that into the drums, and all kinds of really cool things happen. Okay, so hit the like button, please, and uh, join, subscribe, and go to our webpage and join the newsletter. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next, next time and uh, enjoy your drumming, enjoy your life. <laughs>